Well, my name is Raquel, and I order by herself. You have to have the money to be a stony minder. You have some of those words that's not translated correctly. They don't like you to know the truth. They lie about everything. There you go. The kragma. That's the word they don't translate correctly. It's in the apocalypse. And here's the unabridged Greek English lexicon by Lib Ellen Scott. And they can show you there that the it means the impress on the coin and stamp money coin. And these people lived around the same time that the book of Revelations was written. So you can see the whole context of it. Oh gosh, so anyway, this economy is so crazy. And these guys were like selling body parts. It was on the front page of the New York Times today. <clears throat> Here you go. And uh, they arrested these rabbis. There was like five rabbis involved. But like, uh, they don't really mention these body parts until you get down to this part here. Uh, let's see, there it is, the body part. <laughs> and then it goes down, it's like a leader of the Syrian Jewish committee, community. And uh, he would find vulnerable people, but he doesn't say where, they don't say where. And then he'd turn around and sell the organs for like, 16 times the amount that he paid for them. And he's been doing this for quite a lot of years. So that's the, uh, and there's like this book that was written called The Poisonous Mushroom by Julius Stryker. And it's like, uh, oh, it's really, they used this book to teach children about the Jews. And here this little boy is picking, you know what they're doing in this picture here, it says, Oh gosh, well, they don't say very good things about these people. But these are the kind of people that Adolf Hitler ran into in Austria. And they mention it like in, uh, in Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. I think it's chapter 10 where uh, Hitler sees these people in Austria and he can't figure out if they're like German citizens or, or what, you know? I mean, like, they're dressed funny and they're. It's sort of like the Muslims, you know, the Muslims have infiltrated uh, Europe and uh, France uh, especially has a big population and they don't assimilate very well and that's the same problem that Hitler had with the Jews is that they didn't assimilate into the German society and they were doing all kinds of things like they mentioned in here, the kosher uh, food racket. And the they show two little boys peeking in the window, trying observing what's going on inside this kosher meat processing plant. And, and if you've been watching the news lately, they had another problem with these guys in one of these meat packing plants in the New York Times today. And uh, they're using like a millisecond. And they're, they're making a lot of money off this. But you get down here, this is from the front page, and this uh, Goldman Sachs program, and there's a lot of people in, in President Obama's cabinet that are affiliated with Goldman Sachs. So, like, um, I don't know if Obama's being manipulated or what, but uh, they're making half of all the trades. But, like, uh, then one second after the markets opened, they started bidding on these prop properties. But, like, they have some kind of uh, an advantage uh, where they can uh, see what the other people are bidding. This tiny little loophole, they pay for it, you see. So like Goldman Sachs and all these people are making money. And you can see like they're, they're throwing all kinds of money around. And they made like a $7,000 profit, but it quickly adds up when you do this, you know, a hundred times a day. And now, here's the bottom line is these Traders generated 21 billions in profits just by fooling around with these internet scams. It's just outrageous. This is on the front page. These Wall Street money changers. Arizona summer wildcat. And I couldn't believe this. This article here, it says Tucson City Limits, RIP. I don't know who did that, if he photoshopped this or what. I hope he didn't spray paint that sign. But, like, this is on the front page of our school paper, and I couldn't believe it. This guy, Michael Muriman, he must be a, a fan of my show or something. 
He goes here, the first thing, seven reasons why Tucson may be dying. You got employment rate, increasing population, in an unfavorable local infrastructure. It's like nothing's planned here, and the crime rate's going up, he says. And then you got to turn to page five to find out more. So let's go see what they're saying on page five. Oh, yeah, here's number four. The poverty level for families. Increased taxes. Yes, they're raising our taxes. And um, dwindling spring training. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then the failed city plans. This stupid real and away with thing we've got here. It's the biggest scam. You know, it's like, I thought Reno, Nevada had some bad scams. I mean, this age of stupid, he calls this the age of stupid. And it is, it is. The curator of the global archive, uh, well, the knowledge, and it's up in the Arctic where it's melting. <laughs> this is so crazy. And the tipping point, he says, it happened in 2015. If the world doesn't start to reduce carbon, I think it's I think it's history, man. And that's what I was telling you about, you know, like George Bush and all those guys, they bought 100,000 acres down in Paraguay. They're just going to get on their corporate jets and leave us here, you know. Maybe they'll poison a lot of us with some kind of swine flu or something first and kill us all off, and then they can come back and, and repopulate the world with with um, their religion. Oh, the age is stupid. I love that. <laughs> okay, almost all scientists surveyed accept that human beings evolved by natural processes and that human activity, chiefly the burning of fossil fuel, is uh, causing global warming. But almost a third of ordinary Americans say human beings have existed in their current form since the beginning of time. Can you believe this? A third of them ordinary Americans? God, this is the age of stupid. And only 2% of scientists believe that. God, what kind of scientists are they? Only about half of public and these people believe that Jesus walked on water and turned water into wine, you know, and he's going to come in the end days and save everybody and you're going to be raptured up in the sky. I mean, jeez, come on, you know, where's the physics there? You know, the laws of nature and everything. Oh, well, God can do whatever he wants, you know. How do you know it's a he in the first place? You know, how do you know God's a he? <laughs> but here's the whole thing, is, and Jesus Christ explained it. I don't even think Jesus Christ existed, you know. It's like uh, fairy tales. But they're saying, like, you know, we've got the world's only superpower. How could they have gotten in there and, and bombed our... <laughs> Pentagon, you know, I mean, are we stupid? <laughs> I know, I mean, gosh, come on, you know? But they had all these warnings. And, and then, I, this is the weirdest part right here. They said that there was this young man that kept coming in to, to, Dick, to see Dick Cheney. And uh, he kept telling Dick Cheney that, well, the plane is 50 miles out, it's 30 miles out. And Dick, I can't believe this, you know? I mean, what's going on here? Come on, there's got to be, and they don't, they don't want to talk about this 9-11 thing, you know. And uh, Norman Mineta's testimony. Norman Mineta, now, come on, let's get this guy on TV, man. Let's get him on TV, what, let's get him. <laughs> He's got a hearing through an extraordinary amount of people. 110 members of Congress wanted to ask him things, and he didn't really answer all the questions about what they want to do, these derivatives. That's what I keep telling you about the $531 trillion worth of derivative. My friend Joe Sweeney, I hope he does a story about this girl. This, this poor girl, she got so badly screwed up there in, in the Oracle Post Office. Her name is uh, Mary Elizabeth Shipke. And she ended up spending like three years in prison, in federal prison, because this was during like the 9-11 um, thing. And, she goes into the post office, and all the women there knew she was crazy. And she says, oh, I just wish a bomb would just blow you guys away, you know. And so they arrested her for, like, terrorism. And they threw her in the federal prison for three years. And then they stole, she had, like, $52,000 under the mattress. And the uh, sheriff up in Florence in Pinal County stole her money. So anyway, my name is Raquel. In order to buy a cell, you have to have the money to be signed your mind in your hand. God bless. Peace and love. Bye.